We will now show you how to properly prepare the installation of your IMO robotic mower and things to consider when planning its installation. For a smooth initial operation, first familiarize yourself with the user manual and the quick guide of the robotic mower. The IMO robotic mower mows the lawn in random path patterns and recognizes fixed obstacles on the mowing area using ultrasound sensors and a bump sensor. As soon as it detects a fixed obstacle, the device slows down, bumps against the obstacle, and then continues to move in a different direction. To define the borders of the mowing area, you first have to route a perimeter wire around the mowing area. Areas the robot mower must not navigate and obstacles it must not come into contact with can be blocked off from the remaining mowing area with the help of the perimeter wire. If the IMO identifies or reaches the boundary of the mowing area, it slows down and then continues to move in a different direction. The robotic mower can be operated and configured at any time with the My IMO app. You can also use the keys of the control panel light strips, a matrix display, and short voice outputs provide information about the current status of the robotic mower. In addition to the perimeter wire, a guide wire must also be laid during installation. This helps the robotic mower to find the direct route to the docking station if the mowing operation is cancelled or the battery needs to be recharged. The guide wire must be routed from the docking station for 2 meters in a straight line and at a right angle. Also ensure that the mowing area is level and free from obstacles in the direction of travel towards the docking station along the guide wire. 1.2 meters on the left side and 37 centimeters on the right side. You can set up to three starting points on a guide wire, which the IMO can approach directly and start to mow from there. You can also use the guide wire to divide the mowing area into several zones. For example, Zone A and Zone B can be approached separately according to your mowing plan. Please note that you have to route at least one guide wire. By default, you can route two guide wires. With the IMO EVO models, you can even route up to three guide wires. This makes it also possible to guide the IMO through confined areas where the minimum distance between the perimeter wires of 2 meters cannot be achieved. Before installing the IMO, you should draw a sketch of your garden and measure and mark important points to always comply with the required clearances. Also, mark the routing of the perimeter and guide wires as well as the position of the docking station. There are different options to place the docking station, which you can select individually according to your garden. The docking station should be placed on a level surface and its opening should face forward toward the mowing area. It may neither be bent nor may it be inclined forward to the rear or to the side. The ideal spot is a shady area protected against the weather with Wi-Fi reception and close to a wall socket. As a final step, check again your sketch in regard to the requirements in the quick guide or in the user manual. In your next steps, you can now install your IMO robotic mower.